And on today's episode, Jessica makes a mess, Sarah uses a knife, and we eat lots of fast food from around the world. And we're gonna try everything that they came out with on their international menu. International menu! It looks like there's a burger, a chicken sandwich, some fries, and a McFlurry. I'm real excited about the McFlurry. Me too. Okay. Uh, we're in this line that's probably gonna take a while. Yes. Baby. Apparently I picked the wrong line because the other line moved and this hasn't moved. I also don't have anything to put my phone on, so just holding it. Fail time. Chilling at the McDonald's. What did Grandpa call it? Mac and Don's Rainbow <laughs> Terrace. <laughs> All right, so we're getting tomato mozzarella chicken sandwich. Why are they so? Why are the names so long? You could just say, can I have one of everything on that international menu? The worldwide favorites oh, menu. Oh, worldwide favorites. Yeah, Jessica. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. What is happening? I definitely picked the wrong one. I may help you. Hi, can we get um, one of each of the things on that worldwide menu? I'm sorry? Can we get the... Um, Tomato mozzarella chicken sandwich, crispy. The single grand Mick extreme bacon burger. A snack size of the Stroop waffle McFlurry. And um, okay, one moment. I uh, don't know that it's letting me. I only have the regular size. That's fine. Okay, and anything else? And the cheesy bacon fries. Would that be all today? Yeah, that's it. Okay, and your total comes to 1606. Thank, Thank you. you. That's not too bad. It's a lot of food, but. We are two sisters trying stuff. I'm Sarah. I'm Jessica. And today on our channel, we are going to be trying the new worldwide favorites from McDonald's. Yeah. Which one are you excited about? Um, that burger sounds pretty good, but I don't know. They all sound really yeah, good. Yeah, they all sound amazing. So yeah, let's get into it. How do we pick? <laughs> Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger by his toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Burger it is. So, All right. This is, I gotta look at my phone because I don't remember. This is a lot of words. The Grand Mick Extreme Bacon Burger from Spain. And in it, it has, it says from their website, this burger features thick cut apple wood smoked bacon topped on, that doesn't make any sense, topped on a quarter pound of 100% fresh beef that's cooked when you order, layered with a smoky McBacon sauce and two slices of savory real Gouda cheese on a sesame seed bun. I love Gouda. That's a lot of words. <laughs> It was really funny uh, when Sarah was ordering this. This burger also comes in a double. Yeah, we just got a single since we got all of these things. Here's what it looks like on the inside. I think something just dripped on the table. <laughs> all right. Okay. I'm not a huge fan of raw onions, so. Yeah, we didn't change anything on this. No. I'm just going to eat that little piece of We didn't get anything different on anything, even mm -hmm. though. Oh, except the chicken, you can get it crispy or grilled, so we got crispy because why not? Okay, let's go. Mm -hmm. Oh, a big bite. That's delicious. This is really good. The sauce tastes like a smoky version of Big Mac sauce. It does. 
It's really good. And I don't mind the onions. Mm -mm. But they're just falling off. I don't like that. I wish they were bigger pieces, but. Do you taste the Gouda? Maybe that's what's smoky. Mm. But the sauce is McBacon sauce. Oh my gosh. It's really good. We're messy eaters. Yeah. It's really good. I'm surprised I don't have any on me yet, but give it time. Chicken next or? Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. Catch a tiger by his toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. And I, oh good. I was like, I know you just did all that, but I'm gonna suggest the fries. Okay, so these are the cheesy bacon fries from Australia. So from what I understand, each of these items is available on the menu in each of these countries, and they've just all brought them to the U.S. Basically, it's just McDonald's fries with some cheese and bacon on them. Mm -hmm. I honestly think that they released this here. Like, it wasn't a special from Australia thing just, like, a couple months ago. Yeah, I don't even know. Yeah. I don't know how I'm going to feel about this because I like McDonald's fries by themselves. I, I don't do even too. like ketchup. There's only one fork, so I'm just going to go in there with my fingers. Uh. <laughs> Let's just do a couple of these. Oh. Got a little cheese, got a little bacon. I'm sorry you all are having to watch us eat because I hate watching people eat. And so we started an eating channel. Uh huh. Now we're gonna do other videos, not just eating. Yeah. These are good. Mm hmm. There's like fries with bacon and cheese. I love like queso or cheese dip loaded nachos like all of that and fries like this and, and this is really good mm -hmm. i thought it would i don't know i thought it wouldn't be as good because mcdonald's fries are so good by themselves but i mean obviously anything anytime you put like sauce on fries they get a little soggy so mm -hmm. they're not quite crispy understandably so these are tasty mm -hmm. all right salt overload <laughs> need oh yeah need water, water. Oh, I don't have very much. All right. The last savory item. Yeah. There's a fourth item <laughs> not pictured on this table. Oh, wow. Ooh, it's beautiful. That is lovely. This is the tomato mozzarella chicken sandwich from Canada. That bun is beautiful. It doesn't look Canadian to me. I feel like they should have made poutine fries if they were oh, going to do something Canadian. Yeah. But it's whatever. So this is a savory medley of flavor with creamy mozzarella cheese, sliced Roma tomatoes, fresh lettuce, and tomato and herb sauce with a crispy chicken breast. I like how it says chicken breast made with all white meat. Isn't a chicken breast white meat? They it's got McDonald's. <laughs> Um, Do we really know what's in it? And it's served on an artisan roll. I it's may have just cut through the box. <laughs> Which half would you like, madam? I'll just take this one. It's closest to me. Eh? It's Canadian. Let's yeah. do a Canadian <laughs> accent. I don't know how to do a Canadian accent. All right, here's what it looks like. Okay. I have to, like, really get off my chair to get it close, and you just go. Oh, that's a big old hunk of tomato. All right. Ready? Oh, everything's falling off. <laughs> Stressed. Stressful. All right, here we go. You just took off like a whole tomato. No, there's another tomato okay. on there. I was like, how are you supposed to get the whole? Mm. It's good. It's herby. It kind of tastes like it has pasta sauce on it. It's not amazing. No. I kind of thought it would be. I was probably the most excited about this because I love oh. tomato, mozzarella, and you chicken. You do, you do. Like if I'm gonna get a panini, it's gonna be a caprese panini with mozzarella and tomato and stuff, pesto. Mm. Yeah. This would be better if it had pesto on it. Mm. Something garlicky and salty, but I can't really taste that sauce. I just tasted tomato and chicken. I do taste the tomato a lot. The bun's good. Mm. I like it. Artisan. I would agree with that. I like an artisan. This is just meh. Mm hmm. It's okay. This is meh. It's meh. If you like chicken and some so, tomatoes, because that's basically what it tastes like. We have one more thing to try, and then we'll give you our ranking on all four of the things. All right. All right. <laughs> all right. Item number four is the 
I don't know if you can really see this. It's the Stroop Waffle McFlurry. I said, can I get the snack size? She goes, we don't have a snack size. Of course you don't. So we got regular and I'm lactose intolerant so I'm not gonna be eating much of this. But more for me. We're gonna give it a try. You get that funky spoon. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, there it there is. There it is. We couldn't see the Stroop Waffle in there. Oh man. Oh. That's a lot of caramel and Stroop Waffleness. That's a lot of goodness. I'm gonna take a big one. Okay. This is just so. Here we go. One, two, three. This is intense. It's cold. Mm hmm. Who is sweet? But all the caramel's like in the middle. I like it though. I think because they used the spoon to mix, and yeah. I think all the caramel got caught on her spoon. Yeah. It was a oh, stroop waffle so though. We love mm -hmm. stroop waffles. And it is so good. Mm -hmm. This might be my favorite thing. I don't know, that burger is amazing. <laughs> Forgot to say where this is from. This is from the Netherlands. We got excited. I know. <laughs> and it's just pieces of Stroop waffle with some caramel. And then if you don't know cream. what a Stroop waffle is, it's like a really flat, I'll insert almost crepe-like waffle. And then they cut it lengthwise and they spread caramel sauce in the middle and then you just eat it and it's delicious. It's like cracker thin. If you have not had one, you should totally do yourself a favor and have one. This, I just am making so much mess. Okay. I give that a five out of five. I also would give this a five out of five. That was delicious. I would give the cheesy bacon fries a four out of five. I think all of our ratings are probably gonna be pretty similar. Yeah. I think I would also give that a four out of five. <clears throat> the chicken, a three out of five. It is good, but I don't, it's not, there's nothing special about it. It just tastes like Italian chicken. I'm going two out of five because I was really disappointed. Mm. Like my expectations were pretty high and they weren't met, so. And that burger. That burger though. Also a five out of yeah, five for me. Five out of five. The flavor is really good and they use their thicker burger patties. Mm -hmm. You know how McDonald's has like the premium burger patties and then they got the little flimsy guys. <laughs> These are the thicker quarter pound, I guess. Yes, it's a quarter pound. And then it just has really great flavor it to does. it. And it has bacon on it. You can't go wrong with that. And that sauce. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't even taste the Gouda cheese, which I love Gouda cheese, but, and maybe I am, I don't know. It's very smoky with that sauce, but I'm not really missing the cheese because that sauce just is bomb. <laughs> Dot com. All right, so let us know down below if you have tried any of these things and what you thought of them. Obviously, you your taste buds might be a little different. Maybe you liked something else a lot better than we did. Also, this is our new um, weekly feature. We're doing Fast Food Friday. So any fast food items that come out that are new for a limited time, we're gonna go and review them. Um, most of the time we're going to do it at home because we live, we actually live really close to a lot of fast food mm -hmm. restaurants and we'd rather just do it at home than in the car. Occasionally we might have to do one in the car if we have to travel to the fast food restaurant and we want to eat it while it's hot or cold. So yeah, we're going to do fast food Friday. And if you have heard of something that you think that we should try, definitely let us know. Um, we have most fast food places close to us. I mean, we live in the Midwest, so... I don't know if there's something that is specifically to another part of the country that we might not be able to try, but um, we like to eat all kinds of different things. So we're more than willing to try them out and let you guys know what we think. And yeah, so don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and hit that bell so you can get notifications. We'll see you guys next time. Keep on snacking. Right? What did I tell you? I you said, just order everything that's on that menu. And what happened? She goes, excuse me? <laughs> so I had to say all those words. The ba bacon mick extreme whatever I know. burger. Do we need a knife? Yeah. I shall also grab a knife. A knife. Oh, hi. It's cozy. Well, this is how it is. Okay. Do you smack? Do you smack? <laughs> that's not even. That's not even mm. close to taste. I'm the messiest person. You have it all over. Look at that. All right, let's. In today's episode, Jessica, Jessica makes a mess. mess.
Just a big old mess on the table. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I like the burger. It is so good. I like the burger. And these fries. Alright, you want to go ahead and do your home this week's episode? Mm-hmm. And then I want to eat. Mm-hmm.